what that was. See the spark plug lead right there? Oh yeah. So new French car has shown up um, at the shop. This is another joint venture I am not a part of. Uh, however, Steve and uh, one of our other friends have purchased another 2CV. And uh, Jerome polished up this corner. Weird looking thing. Looks amazing. Of course, we have a hood that's a different color. Yeah, there's a lot wrong with this one, but there's also a lot right with this one. So I, I there was a... Concerned that maybe they uh, they got a little in over their over their value, but uh, after seeing how well this body came out, I think this is actually going to turn out to be a really nice car. I don't, I don't know. What about the, the company you said that So two weeks ago, <laughs> yeah, we thought we'd have this operating in you know a matter of a weekend, and. Um, he says, as he's standing in front of the engine, which is on a cart, out of the car, and, and the, car, yeah. the car is on blocks, disconnected from the frame, ready to be lifted off With, with no seats. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Strip. This escalated very quickly. This, yes. is, this is uncontrolled escalation. This is what it is. This is what it means. So uh, what are we, we're retapping a spark plug hole. Is that what's going on here? Yeah, I'm trying to screw it up as many times as I can. No. I, the, uh, you're, you're in you didn't, you didn't hear me. Yeah. saying that I had the piston at top dead center, at top dead center. So I couldn't get the get the tap to go in, and it was, you know, really hard, and I just forced it and forced it. And it wouldn't go because it was hitting the damn piston. Ooh. And then what I managed to do instead of threading the hole is I just pulled Reamed the it. threads that I uh, so, just yeah. made out. So, And the guy, you know, he does the whole thing and everything, and he puts the spark plug in using a half-inch drive ratchet. Yeah, and he you see him tighten the thing up, and he tightens the thing up, and he, he's doing so hard that his hand is shaking. <laughs> right. I'm going, you don't tighten spark plugs that's, that tight. That's wrong. What's that squeaking sound over here? <laughs> Things have escalated. So about a week has transpired and it uh, looks like they have flipped this thing back over on on its uh, its its right side up now. So they've completed the bottom piece and it looks like this week they're going to get into fixing this whole mess right here. This is an awful lot of work for a car that they expected to be done with in a weekend. But that's what happens around here. Sometimes you buy a weekend project and it turns into a body off frame restoration. What a difference a week makes. 
This looks really good. Still have some work to do on the body. There. That's where I was going. That raises it up too high, so. Yeah. This is this is clearly has to bend up. Because see this line here, yeah. I'm feeling that line and that line should line up. Line up with the hole there. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to do. Yep. <laughs> So it looks like it just looks like, like it is when we pulled it in here, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's the frustrating part. No, no, it doesn't. Because yeah, we all yeah. we all saw how bad it was when you <laughs> when you got yeah, it here. So You're back sure to where you started. It was made um, entirely of French pastries. This is this this looks like the one that Snoopy drove in Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Okay. Shut her down. Well done. Thank you. Oh, wow. Did, did you guys have that professionally done? No. Uh, uh, we, we, we ordered the seat cover. And then I redid it. I mean, it's nice. really pretty. Wow. Yeah. How much did the kit cost? Uh, 300, uh, 280 euros, I think. Okay. Yeah, so well, I, I mean, did you paint the frame too? Yeah. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks, it looks nice. Yeah. Okay. So are you going to do the front seats? This is the front. It's, it's bench front and back. So we just... This is a bench seat in the front? front? Yeah. Yeah, it surprised me too. There, it was, you could get it either way. I've never seen one that was a bench seat yeah, in the front. I, wow. Yeah, Just needs a turbo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they, <laughs> great seat. <laughs> Is that zip tied to the floor? I don't even think it's a zip tie. It's just There's a, the, it's just a yeah. piece of string. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not. Um, Yeah, yeah, you gotta got adjust your mirror, yeah. You have the keys to your car. Are you good to go? We're gonna we're gonna follow him. Yeah. Does it look ridiculous? Yeah, it looks absolutely ridiculous. Dog leg first. Tomorrow. Around, put things apart. 
part. I think it's a little bit slower than the than the one that I drove out in California. Of course, there's two more people in it. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's very, very, very true. Now, what, what is it? First is back? Dog leg, yep. First is... Yep, that's first. And then second, third, and fourth. Exactly. I can break this on. It's just like a Ferrari. <laughs> just like. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> This was the, the massive operation at the beginning of the project. I remember that. Yeah. Seagull star again. Well, lucky for us, we have a parts car. with a good cylinder head. Okay, so we have a Diane 6 here as a donor car with a known good cylinder head that does not have stripped out threads for the spark plug. Uh, that has been transplanted onto the 2CV. So uh, we now have, how many is that? That's two 2CVs, a 4CV, and a Diane 6, a working Diane 6, not including this one. So that's 10 CVs. Uh, we have 12 CVs if you count this one. It's a lot of CVs. See you next time here on something, something, something wrench time.